Good morning. Today we are going to be looking at subtracting decimals. We're going to use the base 10 pieces that we used in the last class about adding decimals. So you can see on the screen that I have a problem on the board already. 98 hundredths minus 53 hundredths. And I've modeled the whole, or the 98 hundredths, using the base 10 pieces. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hundredths, and 8, 9 tenths, and 8 hundredths. When I'm subtracting, I'm taking away. To show this using the base 10 pieces, I'm going to use my pen tool to subtract tenths and hundredths. So I'm going to start by subtracting 5 tenths. So I'm going to cross out 3, 4, 5 tenths, and I'll cross out 3 hundredths. What I'm left that is not crossed out is the answer to my problem. So I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4 hundredths, and 4, 4 tenths, and 4 hundredths. So my answer to the problem is 44 hundredths. Let's look at another type of subtraction problem. In this problem, we're going to be subtracting 1 and 2 tenths from 5. So my subtraction problem is 5 minus 1 and 2 tenths. I start by modeling the whole, so I need five ones, and I would normally start by crossing out, if I use my pen tool, I would start by crossing out 1 of the holes, and now I need to also cross out 2 tenths. But I don't have 2 tenths right now to cross out. So what I need to do is to break apart one of my holes. And when I do that, let me spread these out for you. That's enough. I can then go back and I've still got one crossed out here, but I can now cross out two tenths. What I'm left with on the board that isn't crossed out, which will be my answer, is I still have one, two, three holes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths. Make that nicer. So 5 minus 1 and 2 tenths equals 3 and 8 tenths. This would be how we show subtraction with regrouping. If you'd like, you can watch one more problem that I'll model here. Otherwise, you can get started on your Google Classroom assignment. All right, so my last example today, we're going to subtract 5 and 2 tenths minus 2 and 5 tenths. So we're going to start by modeling the whole. Make my board a little bit bigger. So we have five and two tenths, and we are subtracting two and five tenths. 
Now, automatically looking at my board, I know I'm going to have to split things up because I can't subtract 5 tenths when I only have 2 here to cross out. So I'll look at my next hole and I'll split that up. And let's spread them out. Let's go to the pen. And now I'm subtracting 2 and 5 tenths. So I'll start with the 2. It really doesn't matter which 2 you cross out, but there's 2 and 5 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm left with 1, 2 holes and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tenths. All right, once you've completed your Google Classroom assignment, there are also two 10 marks assignments to complete.